Hi, um, my name is Serena Graham. I'm Dr. Peck's technician, and I'm going to show you how to screen directly from colonies with uh, standard PCR. So I've already made my entire mix except for the fusion, which is the um, polymerase. So I'll go ahead and add that last because from this point on, um, your PCRs will be um, warming up to room temperature. So I, I do that last so that they, it stays as cold as possible. It does work fine. So the, this is um, New England Biolabs Bio fusion that we use. And I'm just gonna do eight right now. But um, once you get good at this technique, I, I recommend you just fill up the PCR machine. I routinely do 48 colonies at a time. So I'm doing 20 microliter PCR reactions. Uh, that is helpful to do that or larger so that you don't end up with too much DNA in your PCR product. Um, sometimes when I do 10 or 15 microliter reactions, it gets pretty goofy to load onto a gel. So this is the full 20 microliter since I'm not adding a template that has volume. It's, it'll just be a few cells. I've already marked which uh, colonies I'll be screening from on the plate. That way I don't get mixed up when I see the product. Okay. And I'm using um, wild type control. So to screen directly from colony, I just use a very uh, a small tip and I stabilize the plate in one hand. Um, and then I stick out a thumb to stabilize my tip with the other hand. And then I depress the plunger of the pipette and just grab just a few, col uh, few cells from the colony. So this is what I'm now going to put into my PCR reaction. And um, you just put that tip right in there, pipette up a few times. Sometimes you see a bit of pink come off, but um, preferably you won't. All you'll see is the lysed intracellular goo kind of sticking to the tip of your pipette tip as you draw it out. That way you know you have some DNA in there, but it's not too much and it's gonna overwhelm your reaction. So then I will just go ahead and do the rest of my colonies. You can see I've, I've marked them with numbers so that they don't get mixed up. And uh, then once, once I've got my DNA in there, of course, since they're halophiles, they lice in the PCR reaction, release their DNA, it's, it's all in there now. Once I've got a um, sample in there from each of these separate colonies, just pop it into the PCR machine, normal PCR, done, visualize on the gel, and that's it.